Hey everybody, it's our very first Monday motivation. And what that means for most of you guys, it is officially the first week of school. I know that some of you guys are super excited about that. Some of you guys have been dreading that, but I actually believe there are good things on the horizon. You know, we've been talking all summer, we were talking all last year, about how God has called you to be a light in your schools. God has called you to be a revivalist in your schools. And this is really the first week of opportunity that we get to do that. And so I just want to encourage you guys for a second. You know, our favorite verse here at Chosen Youth is where we get the name Chosen Youth. It comes from Mark 3.14. And this is when Jesus is talking to his disciples. He goes up on a mountain. He calls the ones that he has chosen. And he says, hey, I chose you. I picked you so that you could be with me. You you could come to know me, you could get to know the way that I do things, you could commune with me, and then I also chose you to go out and make me known, to go out and be alive, to go out to preach. And so I just have a couple quick encouragements to motivate you on this first Motivation Monday. And the first one is this. You have to find time, be aggressive, and spend time with Jesus this week. Guys, we can't give away anything that we do not have. So if we're expecting to be a light, if we're expecting to bring peace, if we're expecting to bring hope, if we're expecting to bring love and joy, we have to be with the very only person who can provide those things, and that's Jesus. So get aggressive. Wake up early, go to bed late, um, cancel on your friends, whatever you have to do to make sure you're spending time with Jesus, reading the Word, growing in the Word, spending time with Him in prayer, spending time with Him in worship. Actually being in the presence of God is what energizes us to be alive and make a difference. And secondly, being alive doesn't happen on accident. You have to actually choose to make it happen. And so create a plan. What is that going to look like? Are you going to tell two people about Jesus on the first day of school? Whatever it looks like for you, get with Holy Spirit. Ask Him how you can be a light, how you can make a difference. And one real easy one to get started for the first week of school is just to decide on day one as I walk into the halls, if I'm getting oriented with my lockers and my new teacher's classrooms, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prayer walk in my school. Because we believe the chosen you that prayer is the foundation of our Bible and nothing can happen outside of prayer. And so I believe God is using you this year, 2022 and 2023, to absolutely transform your school. And if you'll believe this and actually accept this and walk like it's the truth, walk like it's the plan of God, I believe he's going to do something incredible in your life even this week. We love you guys at Chosen You. We're praying for you. If there's anything we can do to support you, to love you, to uplift you, please let us know. Have an incredible first week of school, and we'll see you Wednesday.